Hey everybody, welcome back to another edition of your weekly recipe with Cooking Rules with Jules. That's me and I'm here to help make your kitchen experience not only easy but healthy too. So today we're going to carry on with that curry theme and we're going to make a coconut curry, chicken breast, roasted cauliflower, and some mini Yukon gold potatoes. So this one's going to be easy and very quick, uh, hopefully under 10 minutes or less. All right, let's get cooking. All right, so here's our ingredients for today. Uh, I have here about a four ounce piece of chicken. Of course, if you are making for more than one person, then you'll need four ounces per person. I have here four of these uh, mini Yukon Golds, which are delicious, not paleo, but still fall into that Whole30 category. I have one small head of cauliflower here, as you can tell, um, it definitely needs to be made. It started to get a little bit oxidized, but that's okay too, we'll still roast up all the same. Of course, my extra virgin olive oil. You will need curry for the chicken, some herbalicious sage for those potatoes, and I am currently obsessed with smoked paprika, and this is gonna go onto the cauliflower. You'll also need unsweetened flaked coconut. I happen to like the uh, organic because it is unsulfured, so you get the nice, delicious flavor without any added preservatives. So let's get chop chopping and get this meal on the road. I went ahead and cut these little potatoes into half and then into quarters. And then from those quarters, I went ahead and cut, cut them up again into little eighths. So now I have these lovely little kind of rounded triangle pieces. And then for the broccoli, I just cut the head in half, sliced it down uh, again, twice more on each side, cut it long ways, and then also made it into these little pizza pie shapes. So I am not a fan of cutting broccoli because it's messy. As you can see, there's little pieces everywhere. So I didn't cut it into florets. I just went ahead and chopped, chopped, topped it up. So I got my oven preheating at 400 degrees. Then what I'm gonna do on a lined piece of uh, parchment paper on a baking sheet, I'm gonna lay out my cauliflower and my potatoes. I'm going to give them a light drizzle of olive oil and then I'm going to cut them, cut, cut, coat them with these lovely spices and get that rolling. Wow, look at all that color. Okay, so what I went ahead and did, like I said, I put my veggies on my baking sheet. I drizzled with some olive oil, seasoned with salt and pepper. So remember, when I say season with salt, I'm talking about using sea salt. Specifically, um, well, I like pink Himalayan the best. I just don't have that right now. But regular salt, not so good. At least with sea salt, you get some minerals in it. Um, and then I tossed up by hand to coat the rest of the olive oil. So we save on some fat here by not necessarily drenching our veggies in olive oil, although a good fat. So I have these guys ready and prepared to go into the oven. We're gonna roast them probably for anywhere between 425 to 35 minutes. Now I've done the same thing to my chicken that I did to my veggies. I gave it a nice coating of salt and pepper and then I dusted it with my curry powder. Now remember again, this one is more of a Jamaican curry, a little bit different flavor profile than say a traditional Indian curry, but still tasty nonetheless. This is seriously the easiest chicken recipe ever. You can also do this with boneless, skinless chicken thigh, and then it is incredibly rich and savory and delicious. This happens to be one of my sister's favorite meals whenever I go up to see her. I'm going to heat up my pan over medium heat, and then I'm gonna go ahead and cook the chicken about four to five minutes on each side, and then add the coconut after. Here we go. My pan is now heated up. <clears throat> I coated it lightly with my olive oil, and as you can hear the sizzle, I got my chicken in here browning, and that's what you want. You don't ever wanna throw your protein into a cold pan because it will stick and it will also give you that gummy texture and that's not what we're looking for. So we basically want to sear that chicken and capture all those juices on the inside. My vegetables are 
roasting and this should be done in about another 15 to 20 minutes or so with the veggies. Okay, my chicken's getting ready to cook. You can see it's starting to clump up and we've got some color on the bottom. Give it a nice little flip and as you can see, oh man, that's got some great coloring on it. So I'm going to let the other side brown and while this is happening, I'm going to sprinkle some of my coconut on top. Now you don't need a lot for this dish. I'm just going to give it a little bit of a, a top coating here and we're going to flip it over too. Oops, sorry. Clearly still no tripod, but that's okay too. Alright, so I'm going to let this side brown. I'm going to put this coconut on top. Once it's on browned on the other side, I'll flip it over and coat again. So really you're going to give it two flips, which is unusual for my style of cooking. Most time you only give us one flip, but we're going to give it two flips and then we're going to cover with the lid to seal in those coconut shreds. Alright, so I have one side of the coconut flipped over and browning and I covered it. And now I'm going to flip it again. You can see that that's toasting up, probably getting a little too hot. You don't want that to burn. So I'm going to turn down the heat. Make sure that this coconut stays nice and toasted here. And then wait for my veggies to come out and then we'll be ready to plate it up and eat very soon. Hey, all right, so I pulled my veggies out of the oven and as you can tell, I'm gonna actually pick it up. Got some brown action on the bottom side of my potatoes. So I know these are perfectly done. So I'm gonna plate this up and you can see the finished product. And here comes a delicious meal. Well, this did not plate up as I had wanted to, but that's okay too, because it still tastes great. So I have some really fantastic herb coated potatoes, my roasted cauliflower, my paprika, and of course, this delicious curry chicken. I hope that you learned something new today and are willing to try this out in your kitchen. All right, so that concludes today's Cooking Rules with Jules. That was really short and simple. I will be here again next Wednesday coming up with your recipe of the week and hopefully a tripod and a better haircut because the salons are now open. So I'd love to hear from you. Tell me what you want me to cook. Maybe you have a question. If you like this video, click the like button. If you want to get updates of when I post new videos, you can hit the subscribe. All right. Looking forward to seeing you guys soon. Bye.